In stark contrast to unfilial son Harry, William enraged when his late mother seriously offended. The Crown is currently in the midst of filming season 5, and they're going all the way out when it comes to recreating certain key moments of Princess Diana's life. The Netflix series recreated the evening Princess Diana, played by Elizabeth Debicki, stepped out in an off-the-shoulder, tight black dress in a break with royal protocol after Prince Charles admitted to adultery on television. The scene was filmed in the same spot in Kensington Gardens that Diana arrived at a dinner at the Serpentine Gallery in 1994, a position that can almost be viewed from Prince William's bedroom and is only 800 yards away. While a lot of the series is being kept under wraps, actress Elizabeth Debicki was spotted filming Princess Diana's iconic revenge dress moment, wearing the exact same outfit as Diana and somehow filming the scene in the exact same spot, which happens to be in view of Prince William's window. This comes amid reports that William is deeply frustrated that the Crown will potentially cover Princess Diana's unethically obtained panorama interview, which he made clear he never wanted to be shown again. But a source told that the Crown's creators see the interview as the keystone moment in series 5. To the writers, the stormy marriage between Charles and he led up to her outpouring on Panorama, and the aftermath of that decision defined her final months. They are making a huge investment in that. The Crown has a track record of delving into areas of the royal family's history they'd rather be left alone. Industry insiders have claimed William will be enraged by the decision. They could have chosen any location to recreate the scene, but they opted to select a spot which can almost be viewed by William from his bedroom window. The high-profile fifth series of The Crown is set to feature controversial issues such as the divorce of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, the fallout from Diana's death and an entire episode dedicated to Martin Bashir's 1995 interview with Diana. The source added, just imagine if he had seen. There's also likely to be questions asked about how any permission was given to use a royal park to film a drama which the royal family has been so deeply unhappy about. But even more bewildering is the fact the Crown was allowed to film in a park which is also the home of Prince William. The series, with a release date of November 2022, has been seen as potentially explosive, especially as many viewers believe the show to be a documentary rather than a drama. It comes after it emerged last week the royal family could have grounds to sue Netflix over their portrayal in The Crown, after friends of the firm sought their own legal advice. Worried about how they themselves are likely to be portrayed in the upcoming fifth series, close friends of the royal family reportedly approached law firms Farrer and Company and Harbottle and Lewis. The response they received was that they may have legal grounds to sue the Crown's creators, paving the way for the royal family to make a similar claim. In an attempt to combat this confusion, the government previously requested showrunners to include a disclaimer, but such a message has not been included by the show yet. Earlier this year, in August, the Queen was reportedly ordering officials to plan a legal fight back against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex following their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Sources say the exasperated Queen told palace officials to lawyer up with libel experts after repeated attacks on the royal family from the US-based Sussexes. It followed claims made in the interview that an unnamed royal had raised concerns over their son Archie's skin color before his birth. Days later Buckingham Palace released a statement saying recollections may vary in response to allegations. But the row was reignited after it was revealed in a chapter of Finding Freedom that a source had accused the royals of failing to own their part in the fallout. Sources close to the Queen previously told that the feeling coming right from the top was that enough is enough. 